Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about how you actually create new databases in MySQL, finally. So before we go into the code, let's set the stage just a little bit. Currently, we have a MySQL database server represented by this box that's running on our Cloud9 instance. So that's what happened when we did the MySQL-CTL start. That started up the database server. So now the command that I'm going to show you is what allows us to create individual databases inside of the MySQL database server. So hypothetically, we could have a database for a dog walking app, another one for a soap shop. We could have a practice database if you were just practicing some new code, some new lines of SQL you wanted to try out. And maybe there's a news site database and they're all hosted, they're all part of the same database server, but they're individual databases inside. And that's really important. And to understand why, let's zoom in a little bit on two of the databases, our dog walking app database and a soap shop database. So inside of those two databases, we'll store various entities or different data. So in the dog walking database, we'll probably need to store information about dogs. And in our soap shop database, we'll need to store something about soaps. And then here's where it gets really important. Our dog walking app likely has users, but so does our soap shop app. And our dog walking app has payments, and so does our soap shop app. So they have to be separated. If we just had one database that everything was using on this server, there would be a lot of crossover and there would be issues. What if you had somebody who you know, had the same name who used your dog walking app and they also used the soap shop app and they kind of, the streams got crossed, if you will. That's problematic. So what we're going to learn now is how to create these individual walled off databases inside of the MySQL server we have running. Okay, so let's take a look at some code. This first line here, we've already seen before. All that it does is list the current databases that exist in the MySQL server. So when we do it right now, if I need to start up MySQL, CTL, CLI, and I type show databases, we get this list of the five pre-existing ones that we have nothing to do with. We didn't create these manually. The next piece of code is create database followed by the name of the database you'd like to create. So in this course, whenever there's um, a variable, I'll use these brackets to signify that it's just a placeholder. So in this case, whatever the name of your database is, and then a semicolon. So to make a database for our soap store, we might name it soap underscore store. Or for our dog app, we could use dog app, and you don't have to use underscores. You can capitalize things if you would like. There's no rules governing that exactly. However, if you did something like this, while it can work, it's just not a good idea to do it. So that gets X'd out. I don't recommend doing it. Uh, actually, my recommendation is to stick with this here, what's called snake case. Everything's lowercase and just use underscores uh, instead of spaces. But it's totally up to you. Like I said, there's not a hard rule. And what's more important is that you are just consistent. So whatever you choose, just make sure that you continue to use that just to avoid any confusion. So let's hop over to our terminal and give it a shot. So I'm gonna just make my first database and I will call it hello world db. And remember that semicolon. And if we wanted to make sure that it worked, we can just run that show databases command again. And now you'll see a new addition, hello world db. A note about capitalization. When I wrote create database, yes, you can get away with doing create database. Hello, and let's call this one testing db. That works just fine. So whenever you see those capitalized letters um, in SQL commands, you do not have to use them. But I like to use them, and a lot of people like to use them, just to signify what comes from SQL and then what is a custom name. So in this case, testing DB is something I wrote, or hello world DB is a, a database name or, or a table name down the line or um, a column name once we get there. And we, we can tell that because it's not capitalized. And then create database is in all caps. It tells us that's just regular old SQL. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it to creating a database. That doesn't really give us very much, but we've basically made a space on the server where we can add data. We just don't know how to do that yet. So we've just partitioned off a little area and we've given it a name of hello world DB or in our second example, testing DB.